Time now for Sid Sixero. This is where I get 60 seconds to talk about anything. Let's start the clock, please. Here's what's on my mind this morning. If you would have told me a month ago that the Blue Jays would have started the year with six wins and six losses, I would not have been happy. Six and six? Spent $150 million on a free agent. Six and six? You got one of the best young infields in the game. Six and six? Yunjin Ryu is a stud on the mound. 500 start? Bunch of malarkey. Well, times have changed, and I, Sid Sixero, to the surprise of some, or many, am capable of change. The start of this Jays season has been fairly messed up. George Springer, the $150 million man, still hasn't played because of injury. They lost their closer for the year. Their new closer, Julian Merriweather, got put on the injured list yesterday. Nate Pearson, hurt. Robbie Ray, was hurt, came back this week. Teoscar Hernandez, COVID protocol. Who knows when he'll come back? So, suffice to say, the beginning of 2021 for the Jays has been anything but normal, which is why I'll take a 6-6 six and six start. It's not great, but when you look at this Jays team, trust me when I say it could have been a whole lot worse. <laughs> Shai Davidi does a great job covering this team day in and day out. One of the best baseball reporters in the country. Shai from Sportsnet is joining us. Shai, Charlie Montoyo, I mean, you, you hear every word Charlie speaks. I, I'm going to assume he's okay with the start. Am I wrong? No, you're right. He's okay with it, but... Look, I, I do think there's an element that they're not completely satisfied, and you shouldn't be, right? Like, you're going to try to win every game that you can. And they left a couple of games on the table during the opening 12-game stretch. But when you consider all the things that you just outlined there, which is 100% correct, plus the fact that you are integrating some new players, guys are still trying to get the feet beneath them as they start into the season, uh, they certainly haven't clicked at all, uh, at least to the potential that they have. I think they'll certainly take it. The you know the key part within that six and six is four and two against the New York Yankees. So they played the American League East favorite very tough, showed well against them. And I think that's why they'll probably be a little bit more accepting of six and six than they normally might be. For those who missed the afternoon game yesterday on Sportsnet, it was tasty uh, with the Yankees. Jays won on a walk off from Bo Bichette, and there are times shy where Bo does give you that MVP vibe. I'm not suggesting anything. It's way too early. But on his day, is he the most important Blue Jay, do you think? I mean, it's a bit of a coin flip there, right? You can certainly make the case of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. too. George Springer he hasn't been seen yet, and he's always going to have a role to play. But, but look, Bo Bichette is an absolutely uh, top-level impact player. And you, you saw the tour de force performance yesterday, right? Where, you know, the two home runs, single a stolen base, a couple great defensive plays as well. You know, that's the package that he brings and he can impact the game in every fashion. Uh, and I think because of that, he is going to be an MVP level player at some point in his career, uh, perhaps even this year. Uh, but you know, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. right now is, you know, arguably the most hit, dangerous hitter in baseball. I mean, you know, Ronald Acuna is certainly off to a tremendous start and, you know, shouldn't uh, make short shrift of that. But, you know, they, you're talking about some elite level performances right now uh, and two guys that are really are stepping up to carry this team in the absence of George Springer, Teoscar Hernandez and while well, other guys are slumping. Uh, thank you, Shai, for joining us. Thank you for staying fully clothed during the Zoom session. <laughs> We really appreciate it, and, uh, and have a good one, man. Love you. Uh, appreciate you. Talk to you soon. One and only Shai Davidi from Sportsnet. Jays begin a four-game series in Kansas City tonight. Watch that on Sportsnet. William Amos, again, we've been talking about it this morning. Member of the House and Commons yesterday had a bit of a clothing malfunction during a, a private sitting of the House of Commons. Here's the thing. One of his colleagues leaked the photo. Oh, no. Should that have happened? one you sound off, 267-3797. Feedback at breakfasttelevision.ca, at Breakfast TV. Your reaction next. Good morning, Toronto. It's 644. You're watching Breakfast Television.